Hi friends, welcome to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. Uh, I'm your mentor Jaya Prakash Nagathayali. Today I'm sharing the topic, Sound Mind in Sound Body. How is it sounding? <laughs> okay, so please watch uh, the video fully and uh, I expect your comment, like and share to few people. Health is defined by the who has who means what World Health Organization as physical, mental, social, and spiritual well-being. Going briefly through each of the components of health, we will come across various dimensions that will help us as an individual to exist in this world. With a positive purpose for self and others. Physical well-being. It is just merely keeping oneself in good physique or does it mean much more than that? It is not enough for us to be robust and be shabbily dressed with uncombed air, body smelling of sweat, with dirt accumulated over the skin creases. From the head to the toe, if we run through we speak about the following. Good care of hair and scalp, especially girls who should take care that one does not have lice. Okay? Care of the nose, eyes, ears and the mouth. Be by regularly and daily cleaning the nose and eyes, cleaning the ears with earbuds and daily brushing of the teeth in the morning and also before going to the bed in the night. Care of the body with due attention over the skin creases in the neck, armpits, wrist, webs of fingers, groins, back of the knee, ankle, toes and webs of the toes. Care of the perineum after our toilet preliminaries. Give our body the well-balanced diet that will suffice us to thrive well. What our body needs is carbohydrates that will help us in various biochemical reactions apart from providing the glucose we need for our cells. The muscle mass is built up from the problems. The fats help our body to remain warm and the minerals and various vitamins also help our cells in various functions. When we overload our body, we have a tendency to be obese, which is an unhealthy sign. Similarly, when we have daily the junk food, fast foods, we are feeding our body with diet that is not balanced, resulting into various diseases that we suffer today. Considering our body of an omnivorous animal, we have our body markers that make us more tilted towards herbivorous animals. Look at our set of teeth. We have four plus four plus four plus four grinders on each side of upper and lower jaw, which are meant for grinding of vegetarian food. We have four plus four incisors on each of the jaw, which are meant for cutting the vegetarian food. And we just have four canines for carnivorous food but our diet is just the reverse from what our body is meant for. The result of this is like in any machine, when we start misusing it, it breaks down our body, which is a machine to break down. When God designed our system, he designed it so well that the measure, quantity of food that we should consume is also given to us and that is our hollow of the palm. The food that fits within your palms is what you require for your body to keep it healthy and fit. We eat to live and live to eat. Our breakfast should be a king, our lunch of a queen and dinner of a bad guy. A regularly daily, a regular daily exercise to our body keeps our muscles active and in tone. Similarly, exposure to sun helps us in the absorption of uh, vitamin D that is required by our body. Water in enough quantities helps us in the digestion. 
and also maintaining the cell function and other biochemical reactions of our body. Exercise also helps us to burn the excess fat that is built into our body that could be dangerous in the latter part of our life. Today, cholesterol is a word that is used rampantly in hospitals. We have two types of cholesterol. A good cholesterol is like a policeman and bad cholesterol is like the robbers. Like the policeman catching the robbers and putting in the jail, we have the good cholesterol that puts the bad cholesterol in the liver. But when we have excess of bad cholesterol, it cannot fit in the jail. That means liver and therefore it migrates to various tissues like the heart and brain resulting into plaques that narrow down the blood vessel human being causing a decreased blood supply to these organs and sometimes total stoppage when the human when the lumen is totally closed resulting into death of the tissue causing heart attacks and strokes a daily exercise burns this excess fat thus creating enough space in our jail to store the bad cholesterol. This is the reason when we run on the ground, we at times have pain in the right side of the abdomen and we hold our right side of the abdomen and stop running. Uh, this is a sign when our body demands fats to be used for producing energy to run our liver, which is on the right side of the abdomen, contracts to release that bad cholesterol to produce energy. Our daily routine keeps us so busy that we have elevators, vehicles, and all sorts of mobilizing gadgets that helps us to reduce the consumption of time, but we reduce the physical exercise to our body. Mental, social, and spiritual well-being. Our spiritual life guides us amply on the type of food on particular days and also on giving a time's rest to our elementary system when we do fasting. Okay, We do not want to follow rituals and then we complain of various health problems. Okay, Earlier concept that eating spicy food causes ulcers is not acceptable now. It is not only what you are eating, but what is eating you up causes ulcers. Needless to say, hurry, worry, curry causes ulcers in our stomach. Remember, hurry, worry, curry. Our mental health talks about our thought process towards concept of health. We see so many children today who write on the desk, benches and toilet walls in schools and colleges about sex names of girls, boys and draw nasty pictures. It speaks of a sick mind in a human body. It speaks about our mental wake up, makeup. It speaks about the need of sex education to our present day youth, which is missing in our curriculum. I understand that every human being, when he lives in an environment with opposite sex, there is going to be anxiety and arousal. We need to learn to control this anxiety and arousal and also needs to understand the same. This comes partly through social conventions, which help us to control our feelings with responsibility. Eve teasing, molestations, rapes, sex crimes, casual sex relationships and unnecessary writing in public places is a sign of we, are, we not understanding and controlling the arousal in our body. This means our own body is not within the purview of our control. These un uncontrolled body feelings can precipitate in various forms that are seen today as antisocial elements. Our interactions, behavior, patterns or attitudes with community members are sometimes not acceptable within the social conventions of the society. Remember that a sound mind resides in a sound body and that a sound mind nurtures a sound body. Both are interconnected. No? Exercise both of your mind and body and allow, follow the 4-H formula. H, health. 
give equal priority to physical exercises and sports, mental, reading, writing, interacting, and spiritual health, philosophy, humane concerns, prayer, hygiene. It is not enough to maintain cleanliness in our personal life. Ensure that your surroundings and your environment is not polluted. Habits. Good habits like punctuality, being organized, good manners are a must for nurturing a good life. Hobbies. These are the ones that reach out to both our heart and head. They keep alive the child in us and bring us happiness. Hobbies are the rubies in the garland of life. So remember 4H, health, hygiene, habits and hobbies. Health, hygiene, habits and hobbies. Do comment this. Okay, all these four points, 4H. Okay, yeah, please type. Oh, you are typed. Good. And uh, also comment uh, about the content of this uh, video. How do you feel about this uh, content? Okay. Sound mind in a sound body. Friends, thank you very much. Uh, let us meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.